Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons, and on today's lesson we're going to look at the classic song, Sonny Rollins's St. Thomas. St. Thomas is a song that moves pretty fast, and uh, some of the chord changes can be kind of tough, but generally uh, these chord changes, the, the scale you can use if you want to do some improv on it, outside of, outside of doing the melody, you can stick with the C major scale pretty closely. If you get to where you can uh, kind of hang with some of the other changes, there are some more changes that we can talk about. But pretty much, uh, I'm going to stick with the C scale today, and then later on I'm going to talk about some of the alternate changes that you can add um, on, the, on the second part of the song, or I'll call the bridge. But for now, we're going to play the song once through, and uh, I'll do a little bit of improv, and then we'll stop and talk about the chord changes. So here we go. So on and so forth. Uh, on this song, I did a, a couple of things that were different from maybe the things I've done in the past. One is I quoted a song, a whole different song, right in the middle of this one. I don't know whether you heard it, but I played. I played I've Got Rhythm in the middle of that song, which is a common tool for people. It's sort of like a musical joke, just to see anybody would catch that. You have another song in the middle of St. Thomas. I also used uh, the uh, where you stay on one note and then add a scale like this. I stayed on the G, and I added A, B, C, D, E, F. I went right up the C scale, but I stayed on G. I also used this lick, which is one of my favorite. I called it the Brazil lick because it's from the song Brazil. G, A flat, A. And double stops. E and, G, e and C, B and D, A and C. That all works great. Also on this song, now if you want to talk about uh, the bridge being bar, um, I would say, 11, uh, 10, the chord changes actually go like this, something close to this, the C chord, and then the B flat chord, and then the A chord. So if you wanted to play over those changes, you couldn't use uh, the C scale all that time. You'd have to adjust things. For instance, you could play the, uh, the C, anything in C, C scale, and then the second chord is B flat D F, and then A C sharp E, or A C sharp G, and then you go back to the uh, D G. But that first uh, chord change at bar 10 can that's actually the chord changes c b flat a7 which is a c sharp e g so if you want to outline those kinds of notes that will tell your audience he actually knows the real changes of the song number one number two it just sounds better it sounds more interesting it adds color different notes not just the same old c scale so when you get to uh, bar number 10 uh, think about that those chord changes where the first uh, c chord then b flat chord and then the next um, 
the next one is uh, a, a7 or a c sharp e. So if you can, you can play uh, it's a, um, and then so I added here's the here's the melody with that G I added this note I added C sharp because C sharp is in that chord change a C sharp E and G it's an a7 chord a C sharp G, E G so with the G I added the C sharp to let people know I know this is an A chord and then a D minor chord and then G and then back to the I also did some embellishment with the melody uh, that goes. Um, I added rhythmic embellishment. I changed the rhythm. Just adds more interest. It's a little bit bouncier um, um, part there. So you know you can you can add uh, uh, double stops, or you can add. You can add different things to, to make it sound different from this sounds better. Just I mean, the more notes you add, the better it is. That's C and E. There's the melody on the E. And then D and B. And then A and C. And then A, uh, A is the next note. And then. So there's a lot to do with a song. And if you play the song a lot, I mean, if there, you go through it a lot, you're going to have to find, you can't just keep playing the melody. You could, but it's more interesting to play, um, to do, you know, embellishments and things like that, the same stuff we always talk about. So it's a great song. It's actually the very first song I learned to play. I don't know why. It's just the only one I knew at that time. So great song. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching the videos, and I want to encourage you to uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see the videos come out. Also, please visit panland.ning.com. It's a social uh, site for um, pan players all over the world. There's videos, pictures, helpful hints. Uh, you can see what everybody else is doing. It's really a fun place. Also, if you need musical things for, like a lead sheet or uh, books or tracks or things like that, full steel drum, drum band arrangements, please go to tropicalstores.net. Thanks again. We'll see you.